This story, which was posted online recently, has raised concerns among residents in San Pedro, where the lagoon is situated. It is where dredging of a parcel of land started weeks ago. And while those who have concerns are right, we found out today that this is a case of yielding to a situation that would result with less environmental damage. We moved the barges to the back because in front they were dumping oil, they were dumping human waste, they were dumping garbage and so forth because they're using the front and they're dredging and digging the shallow seagrass bed. Uh -huh. So that's the first stakeholder that was moved, right? Now we want to do things manageable, so we moved a uh, docking facility for boats at the back, especially international boats, ah. boats coming from San Pe going from San Pedro to, to Mexico, Cheromal, or back from there to San Pedro. President of the San Pedro Tour Guides Association, Philip Leslie, told News 5 today that leaving the vessel to dock on the east side, where they do now, would have resulted in a worst case scenario for the environment. If you leave them on the east side, the impact is greater. Because you so, Right? Those boats will cut down on the shallow seagrass bed. Those boats will dump a lot of fuel and oil in the front portion that will then make its way to the reef because it's closer. So we want to protect the reef by moving that activity to the back. Doesn't it still reach the reef uh, just at a later date? No, because the area is a lagoon, so it's contained. It's contained. Where does it go? Well, it's contained at the back and as natural, the mangroves that are still there are the ones that will consume that. And don't those die eventually? Because Well, if you don't have development cutting it down, the mangroves will be able to withstand it. Today, News 5 contacted the Minister of the Blue Economy, Andre Perez, who was traveling to Spain. He informed via messages that the dredging that is ongoing is not affecting fishing. He informed that the project has gotten permits to proceed. San Pedro Mayor Wally Nunes also told us late this evening that the dredging was approved since there have been complaints about boats not being able to access the area due to the depth of the water. Chief Environmental Officer Anthony Mai also confirmed that the project has environmental clearance from the Department of the Environment. Meanwhile, Mayor Nunes informed that there are plans if the canal can be dug properly to divert boat traffic to the back of the island. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marian Ali.